Do you struggle with screenplay description? Do you have a problem with what's relevant and what isn't? How's it, how's it? This is Chop and Screenplay Prep. We are looking at what the difference is between action and description. One is very much describing what is action, as in what is active. Generally, it's going to be what the character is doing or what the subject matter is uh, in sense of movement within your scene. Whereas description is more set dressing. So description would be your locale. Is it uh, outside in a cornfield? Is it inside in a hotel room? And then dressing that set accordingly. Whereas the action component is what comprises of the activity within those scenes, whether it be your character or perhaps something like a vehicle moving in or animals, something that is very much in motion, therefore action. So we're going to take a look at some examples and do a practical uh, demonstration of how we might tackle this in our writing. This is an outdoor location at a resort, and we're going to use this scene as uh, something for us to look at in terms of how we describe what we see. Now, this exercise is more on the set dressing rather than action. So within your action description blocks under your scene headings, where you would denote uh, a setup followed by the action. We're going to stick with description here. So what do we see? So we can imagine a storyline here where someone is walking down this small roadway and they are perhaps looking for something. Now, what you describe is going to be relevant as to what your story is. So is this story about a character who is searching for something? Is this a comedy, a uh, romantic comedy? Perhaps a couple are walking to a destination and you're very much setting the scenes in terms of uh, romance and, and creating an aura of, of love and togetherness. Alternatively, this could be something that's more along the lines of uh, a stalker, he's looking for a property to move in on and therefore what you describe is going to be very different. So if we go back to, as we go down this path here, to the idea of a romantic drama, you're now walking across this water feature so you could describe the sound of water and then the view opens up to a beautiful turquoise sea. All of these things are conducive to that sort of almost fantasy island uh, sense of a romantic getaway. So therefore you're going to emphasize those things that you see that fulfill that criteria. Whereas it's not so relevant that the beautiful sea is there if we're, we've got a killer who's on his stalk. So let's get ourselves a character. So here's um, our guy and they're wearing a hoodie. So a bit of a dark character. So we're going to go along with the idea that this is our stalker. So let's, let's see how this works. He's on a mission to scout out uh, the area therefore you only describe what's necessary for what he's trying to achieve we're not going to worry about the fact that this is beautiful um, unless it's relevant to the story and how you move it forwards so you might describe this path or causeway bricked walled on one side with properties opening up on the left in between hedgerows. So if he's on a search, you know, maybe he's looking for villa number eight, then you might describe that there are properties on the left as he walks down this pathway. You might describe that there's nobody about, no one looking. 
and emphasize the fact that he can get away with doing this um, because this isn't a nighttime scene you perhaps normally stalk at night although that then looks more suspicious but here we're coming to uh, a property on the left but he walks right past it so you could mention that is it relevant that the birds are chirping no if it, this was our romantic drama maybe but what's more relevant here now is that we're approaching a bend and he's cautiously walking along and you could write things in that might be relevant to pay off later so there's there's a step down there into a pool behind the hedge maybe that could be useful later so you only mention things features if they pay towards the story later on so it might be that after he's stalked he gets chased and he might need somewhere to go so we'll, we'll come to that so he's walking over a bridge this uh, would be useful to know if it was necessary so you might be writing and using this as inspiration but when it comes to set location and the production crew choosing where they're going to film they're not necessarily going to film here where you've looked for inspiration if however you're writing your screenplay that's very much um, designed around a specific place then yeah you need to state that in your action description and then when it comes to location scouting they all realize they'll need to come to this location but it could be it doesn't really matter you're just using this as you know inspiration as to how uh, a scene might look so now our character's walking back again maybe he's visited the properties worked out what his exit routes are and now he's walking back towards the bridge you would mention if it's vital to how this stalker character might need to act because it could be useful to know that he stands at this bridge and looks over this property uh, and looks into their pool you can only write what is filmable but here for example he looks over the edge and he might then stand thinking which might show that he's got an idea that this could be could be an option so by the camera showing that therefore you describe that the the view that looks down into that uh, pool it emphasizes that it's an option or an opportunity to jump down here we're now coming to the property and he begins to take interest so you therefore would talk about this pathway into the property. You would talk about the foliage and then the fact that the doors are open, leading through to a veranda area with poolside deck chairs. So therefore, this is the property he's interested in because he walked past the others before. So you'd mention that. So he's scoping this out. So anything that emphasizes how he's planning an entrance and an exit is worth describing. Back along the hedge and he walks back towards, and you could say satisfied, he walks back um, out of the area. Now, I, I've just, you know, I'm speaking live here. So yeah, area, using words like area, that's, it's quite weak. You know, you, you, you wanna be specific. We're in a resort, we're in a housing district, we're in a community. So, don't say he walks back out of the area. Let's have a look at our character in action and how the description might work. Now, although this is action, you know, he walks the path, that's action. But from a description perspective, what are we seeing around him? What is, what is relevant? So if this is our stalker checking out the properties, you know, he walks the path hedge on one side wall on the other lack of escape options so here's an example as you're writing where it's very easy to get lulled back into action versus description so the action here is he paces back to 
the entrance of the road. He picks up the pace. This is action and that's not description. Now we flip the scenario back to a couple walking the resort and they're admiring what they're seeing and maybe they will have dialogue that um, speaks of, you know, maybe we could move in here, whatever. The description's going to be very much about dressing the resort. This is a resort, let's say, as opposed to a housing community. So you'd mention the little waterfall feature there on the right uh, and how the roadway is a single lane. You'd talk about the tropical plants and how leafy green it is and staff uh, walk around with brooms and maintenance bags and it's very much landscaped. The villas decked out with ample balconies, hedges maintain privacy and such like. So you can see the difference between action and description, but both residing in those action description blocks. So this exercise is very much about using a real scene where you walk it, or indeed, as I have done here, video it to bring back to your writing desk. And you watch it back and you just pick out those scenes, those things within the scenes that are relevant to what your scene needs to convey. I hope that walk around outside was useful in seeing how you might describe what you see and when it is relevant and when it isn't. But the key thing I want to make sure that you take away from this is that there is a difference between action writing and description writing. So what we've primarily been talking about in this video is the descriptive set dressing. Now we did uh, have the character walking down the road there, but that was just to put things into perspective and have have an actor and a character, albeit cartoon, in place just to help um, make it more familiar and bring things together. But the key thing is that was an exercise in descriptive writing, laying down the necessary elements that bolster the story in terms of what might happen later. Because you want to also remember that within your action description, uh, particularly when it's description, that you are setting up things for later. There are setups that you might do so things aren't a surprise. So if your character later on needs a way out, you allude to it beforehand, such that when that character was approaching the bridge, it provided a potential area of cover should he be chased from stalking the house. So by showing it and therefore describing it up front, you've got it ready for later when you then reveal it and it's not suddenly a convenience to get you out of a, of a hot fix. I hope that practical exercise outside with the walk was useful and I want to emphasize that it was very much about description rather than action and although I used the cartoon character which was very much action I just wanted to show a character in the environment uh, just to kind of get the feel of a performance and how you would dress that set relevant for the actor and, and obviously the action that is then being performed but essentially this video is about description it's set dressing it's very much different from action and I hope that was very useful as a way of looking at a method to work out how best to describe something. Very much getting out in the field and seeing your location and then describing it accordingly. And the key thing is not over describing. There's no point talking about the palm tree that's got uh, huge leaves if it's not relevant to the story. Uh, so it's about picking things out that might be props, something that might be useful, escape routes if it's an action movie, and if it's a romance comedy drama, then it's very much more about things that accentuate those emotions. So in conclusion, really it's about having valuable description and that which fits what the storyline is trying to say. So each scene needs to move the story forwards, therefore each scene has to be relevant Therefore, anything within your scene has to be useful to the character and the story. Therefore, describe only that which is relevant. Don't worry about overdressing an internal set 
And exterior-wise, don't over-describe and end up pinning your director down to the location that you're seeing then and there, unless, of course, it is specifically relevant that the location scouts bring the director to that location. I hope that makes sense. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.